Hey everyone, welcome back and hello to you new people too. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the best red lipsticks for pale skin. I'm going to cover bold reds and dark reds and subtle reds, so don't fear, there's a red for you. Before I started blogging, red was my power color. I wore red a lot. So I feel very comfortable in red and for a while I stopped wearing red because I wanted to wear um, hot pinks and purples and blues and I stayed in that zone for a while. So I'm happy to be back into reds again. This is a collaboration video with my friend Ivy. She hangs out in the Fear Nix Facebook group. I'm gonna put a link to the Facebook group in the description box. You can come hang out and talk about makeup with us too. And I will obviously put a link to Ivy's video so you can check out her favorite red lips as well. When it comes to red lips, you really just need two pencils and you're good to go. I would go with a bright red pencil and a dark red pencil because that can cover pretty much all of the shades of the spectrum. I do have more than that, but really, like I said, you could get by with just two if you wanted to. I'm one of those people that I like to match my lip pencil as closely to the color as possible or I want to contrast it with the color to create a new color. So for the red lip that I have on now, which is a very deep dark red, I'm using OCC's Pencil in Black Dahlia. And this is a great burgundy. I actually wanted to show you Black Metal Dahlia in this video, which is like a black metallic red, black and metallic red color that goes with the pencil, but I can't find it. I have it. I know I do. I just don't know where it is. So that is Black Metal uh, black Dahlia Pencil. And the lip color that I'm wearing, and I'm going to put all of these on so you can see them, is Furinay's Wizardry. It's a color changing lip color, so it's a deep burgundy with a blue base. And I feel like it almost looks purple in some lights. To me, it's a perfect sort of dark, gorgeous, color changing lip that I think looks great on pale skin. As shown by me wearing it. To me, you would wear this sort of color if you wanted a vampy lip and wanted something a little bit different from a plain matte. You can also achieve this sort of effect just with a deep pencil by layering a, a lip safe eyeshadow on top. The next red lip I want to show you is by Nude Sticks. The color is called Raven. And it's a lip and cheek pencil, but I would only use it on the lips. And it really is a beautiful, rich, velvety, blue tone matte red that I think looks flattering on pale skin. I also think it makes my teeth look whiter. It's very easy to apply even though it's a chubby crayon. I don't feel like I need to use a separate lip pencil with this because it's not a slick formula. It's a very like velvety matte formula that I just think it applies easily and wears beautifully. I love this color and I swear I never hear people talk enough about nude sticks so I need to start talking about them more because I love that their product, most of their lip and cheek products I think are really nice and they work well with my bold eyes. So I think if you're looking for a deep cool toned red, this is a great red. If you're interested in more of like a deep red wine type pencil, I'm particularly fond of Hex. I'm going to put this on and show you what it looks like. So this is Hex on its own. I'm actually gonna put a lipstick on top of this. So this is Marana, and it's a deep, vampy, like wine type of red shade. Almost kind of makes me think of some of the 90s colors that we've seen coming back. This is OCC's NSFW pencil. It's a bright red. So here it is on its own. So this is Bad Blood by Urban Decay. It's one of my all time favorite bright, it's like a bright but deep red. And I feel like it just does something for my complexion. I feel like it kind of, I don't know, emboldens it. Um, when I wear this, people often say that I have snow, like a gothic snow white vibe going on, which I'm totally okay with that. I think that's pretty flattering. But it's a, I think it's a beautiful true red. You can see it here on my hand next to the OCC NSFW pencil. 
yeah, I just, I love it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful red and I think it looks great on pale skin. So this is 714 pencil. It's a bright warm red. I'm gonna put on the matching lipstick. So possibly because 714 was part of the Gwen Stefani collection, but I think of this as sort of like a, another classic red. It's a pinup red. It's a bright, warm red, and it's another shade that I think is very flattering for pale skin. It's probably the most matte of all of the shades that I'm showing you. But this is another color. If This is another red, and if you don't know what red you think looks good on you, I would probably either try 714 or I would try Bad Blood because one of, they're, they're both to me very classic sort of red shades and one or the other should look flattering on you. I feel lucky because I feel like I can wear both of them since I'm neutral toned. When I was trying to find my OCC uh, Black Metal Dahlia, which I still can't find, I did find my Silk Naturals Cherry Black, which is what I just put on on top of Hex Pencil. It is very similar to the limited edition Marana by Urban Decay. So if you like that color and you didn't get that when it was out because it's from the Alice and through the Looking Glass collection, the Silk Naturals color is a really, really close dupe. Like on my hand, the only difference I think between the two is that this one is more shiny, which you can handle that and, and fix that by just blotting a little bit to take down the shine. So I wanted to show that color to you so you could see it on me. So this is Gash Pencil, and Gash is one of the iconic reds from Urban Decay. I'm gonna put the Gash lipstick on top of it, although I have the Old Revolution formula, I don't have the new formula. It, it's a, I think it's a very pretty red, and it ha, it's a deep red. I feel like it's cool toned, and it has like tonal shimmer, like micro shimmer in it, so. It's really pretty, it's shiny. And I, I think again, if you're looking at reds and you're unsure of where to start, it's another great one to start with. It, it always makes me think of Dorothy's Ruby Slippers from The Wizard of Oz. I don't know why, probably because of the shimmer. At this point in the tutorial, or at this point in the video, my lips are killing me. I just put on Hex Pencil again, which is the deep red wine. I'm gonna put Disturbed on top. I'm pretty sure that Urban Decay says Disturbed is like a matte deep brick red. I feel, I do feel like it's a brown burgundy. But one of the things I wanted to show you that you can do with any shade of red that you want, I just think it's easier to demonstrate with a darker shade like this, is you can tone it down to make it more comfortable for you to wear if you're uncomfortable with brights or with deeps by using a pale shade. And this color is Violate. So I'm gonna put Violate on top of this and it's gonna mute it. So as you can probably tell, it muted the color, brought it down. It's it's more of like, I think a mauve type of color or a rose rather than any of the true reds that are on my hand. But you could absolutely just do this with even like one of the brighter reds, mute it with a soft pink like this. I feel like a lot of times people don't think about layering different lipsticks or lip pencils to create different colors, but it's one of my favorite things to do. I have one last red to show you. And this is my red for pale people who are afraid of red. If you are afraid that it's too bright for you and you can't handle red, this is a red for you. This is Bite Beauty Smashed. And I know it looks like it's a super bright red in the tube, especially if you see it on my finger, but I promise you this will sheer out. And after doing all of those lip swatches, my lips need this, this mask so bad. You can absolutely apply this Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask in Smashed with a pencil 
I'm not doing it with a pencil, obviously, because my lips are screaming. But this will give you a very soft, very natural looking red tint, which I think is perfect for pale skin if you are afraid of these brighter reds. And I always wear one of the Bite Beauty Agave lip masks to bed, whether it's the champagne, which is like a golden pink, or the clear, or smashed. And here are all of my favorite reds together. I hope you enjoyed seeing my picks for the best reds for pale skin. Um, there are a couple things I wanna say. First, it's only makeup. You can wash it off if you don't like it. So if you're afraid of trying a bold eyeshadow or a bold lip, try it at home. Prance around the house, see what you think of it. If you love it, wear it out. If you don't feel comfortable in it, wear it around the house for a couple more weeks until you feel more comfortable with it. In my opinion, the way you rock any bold color, color whether it's a bold red on the lips or a bright blue on the eyes, is to wear it around your house and get comfortable in it. So, you know, don't be afraid of that. It makes me so sad when people say, oh, I love that color on you, but I can never wear that. I'm never brave enough to do that. Because I feel like life is too short to not try it. I mean, even if it's your hair and you dye your hair a bright color and you hate it, you can change it. You can go back and get a hairstylist to, you know, put it back to your natural color or darken it or whatever. So you're not stuck with it. It's not a permanent commitment like a tattoo would be. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, I just want to say, Experiment a little bit, you know, have fun. Remember, makeup is supposed to be fun. Wear it around your house, get comfortable with it, enjoy it. Anyway, please go check out my friend Ivy's video. I'm really glad that she wanted to share her favorite reds too. The only other red that I feel like I should mention is if you are looking for a long wearing liquid lipstick type red, I would recommend Kat Von D Outlaw. I've had this one for a long time, so it probably needs to be tossed, but it, I was looking through my red uh, matte liquid lipsticks and of all of them, this is probably the one that I think I would recommend the most. There's another liquid lipstick formula that I absolutely love, which is Jouer. And I've done a lot of wear tests with these, but I don't have any reds, so I can't say that. And I don't, I don't even know if they have a red. Anyway, let me know what you think of this latest installment in the Pale Girls Guide in the comments below. If you like this video, please, please, please share it because that means the world to me. I love it when you share my videos. I love hearing from you guys, so let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching.